welcome back to spark uh, session so we missed the last uh, session explaining about this map partition and index, uh, map partitions with index so here uh, we have composed a function let me show you in the editor so this is the function let me take the execution again here definition my function so this function is accepting index and iterator and uh, iterator of course you know iterator will uh, access of any list or any uh, it is a uh, iterating through a loop kind of thing so you are accessing some kind of a collection one after one so iterate is having has next and uh, next uh, these two properties so hope you can refer to that so iterator and then i am returning string so here first iterator will be the data that i'm supplying iterator dot to list you have to convert it to to list and then map it by using this partition id i'm giving just for not notation index and then value x and of this iterator we have to give iterator so in order to loop it so when you see our uh, yeah this is the one not the one yeah let me see yes already you know sample already let me explain that as well for the reference explain it normally the last part of it so if you see i have defined one to ten times and i am displaying what value is available on which part Is another way also right using map partition of iterate generated array of iterated of elements of generated partition is stored three and the second partition is stored three elements and then followed by four elements so that's what we are doing so if you see partition two seven eight nine ten so this is how you will use uh, map partitions and map partitions with index so hope this uh, session helps you please refer uh, previous example previous videos to understand more this uh, map partitions and uh, map partitions with index this is we called as a per partition basis so how we process the data based on uh, partitions so unlike map it will process each element wise and here it will process on a partition wise so hope this tutorial helps you i will come up with uh, more on data frames now i think i've done uh, most on rdd part uh, please subscribe and i will be posting more videos on uh, spark tutorial thanks